to my channel. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. Our readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. I want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have shown me towards my channel. For my new subscribers, welcome. If this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted. So guys, remember to log in and subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys. So right off the bat, we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is about loss, sadness, feeling let down, hurt by someone, dwelling on negativity and self-pity, looking at the positive to get out of the negative. Like, do not spend too much time living in self-pity. Um, so, Pisces, there is so much good stuff going on. And there's a lingering feeling that has been, like, trying to pull some of you guys back to the point where it's like you can't get out of the sadness. You can't get out of the loss. You can't get out of feeling let down. You can't get out of feeling that, you know, feeling hurt by someone. And it's like you're dwelling on the negative and the self-pity, but you're not looking at all the things that are happening positive around you. Like you're spending too much time living there. If you're creating and crafting your life, you got to get out of this situation. So whoever this person is, it's like you're hindering yourself. You're holding yourself back because it's like too much going on. So... Another five. Five of Pentacles is feeling insecure, lacking support, financial loss, poverty, lack mindset, isolation. You're worried. You're self-sabotaging yourself. Um, I have been seeing this over and over again. Like just listening to some of the people, like I said, that have been posting. A lot of people are not acting like just this whole year has taken so many people out and has put them and a space where it feels like they can't get out of the negativity. They're trying, but it seems like it's, you know, a little hard. They're trying to feel this thing. They're trying to feel the energy. It's Christmas time, but there's still like a lot going on. Still like a lot of residue from, you know, the past. But there's so many things that are just falling out of the sky, like all these karmic gifts. There's so many people talking about how they just won this and how this happened and how this happened. So it's like... Just in trying to increase the energy, trying to just project yourself and move past where you were or the things that were happening to you. Because you see how things are getting better. You see how things are slowly but surely increasing. And it would increase so much faster, Pisces, if you just learn to control your mind. Stop letting these things get the best of you. Start trying to move forward. So when these things creep up on you, you're having to say, I have all these other good things that are now happening to me. And... I got to get up out of this slump. I got to do better. I got to, you know, just talk myself out of it. And I keep telling you guys, it's easier said than done. I get it. I have been there. I understand exactly what you're going through. But we have to do this thing. Um, then we have the King of Swords. And I have my paper and my pen and all this other stuff because I have to, I want to tell you guys, when I was gone... And out with my husband, these were like the things that kept popping in my mind, kept popping in my mind. So I'll go over this stuff with you. This is like, these were just my notes. And so I was typing them down because I had my computer with me. And I just wanted to get this stuff out of my brain so that way I would not forget to tell you guys. Because you guys have to realize so much good stuff is happening for you. Just like that. I know you guys are getting sick and tired of me doing that. But I'm just going to keep doing it until we move past this. Because people are not understanding the level of, if you guys, listen, I just posted a video and I had to post that video first because it's so important. There's so many people that are just dealing with so much mess and foolishness from this type of situation, just from, and people are doing stuff. Like there's so much energy in the world and the energy is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And Pisces, I need you guys help. This is the reason why I wrote this list because you guys have to realize everybody that was on the lottery video, everybody that claims their winnings and everything already, they spoke it. They said to the universe, I'm claiming my winning. This is mine. I speak it. And they were powerful and they were intentful in saying, I won the lottery. The lottery is mine. They know it. They feel it. They won. They've already reacted. They have already done everything. Guys, I posted a book by, um, and I get so hyped with that because 
you guys just don't know the energy that comes through my body when I feel that. And it's like to see people so broken and so hurt and so devastated because all they did was want to love somebody or all they did was want to chase their dream or all they did was want to just do something better that is hurtful that's that's a mess and everybody goes through it this is life there are cycles we already know that but it's like if people don't have teachers or people don't have guides or people don't have influencers to bring them back to the positivity, it's like, what are you really here for? What are you really using your platform for? What are you really doing like in life? So you're a musician and all you do is what? Get up there, sing, go be selfish, whatever, whatever, whatever. No, you can't do that. You got to figure out a different way. You got to figure out a different way to increase the vibe. Like there are so many good things like the um who is it they the baby the baby this dude is so awesome like how he just goes and he's giving and he has stuff and he doesn't have to be that way he he's not he doesn't have to give his stuff to anybody he just does it and i see that and i'm you know i see stuff on social media and you just see and he's all over the place for things of that nature and then his energy is just going and going and going and people look at that like okay he has it so he can do that. Yes, he does have it. So he can do that. He doesn't have to do that. But he does. He understands energy. He understands like the things that he does, what he's putting out there. It's like increasing everything for him. The dude's amazing. Um, but same scenario with you guys. Whatever you're trying to be. Remember your energy. Okay, so that thing is starting to happen again. My video is cutting off, so I don't know. Um, so maybe I'm rambling. Um, King of Swords. King of Swords is a great communicator. They're very smart. It represents structure, power, and authority. Um, they're a logical, deep thinker. It can be a lover, a father, a close family member. It represents legal matters, law enforcement, military, police, judges. Um, this person is very loyal and very protective. Um, they're very protective of their loved ones, so they don't play when it comes to their family. They will kind of snap. Um, he does well in structured environments and needs to have routines in order to operate at its best, operate at his best. So right now, this is like a person that you're able to go to, you can talk to. This person is very smart. This person can help you out in your business adventures. This person can help you out in anything that, you know, you want to talk about. They are very good with conflict resolution. Um, these are air signs. So it represents legal matters. So at this point, somebody could have some situation going on in court that they're dealing with. They had some type of run-in with law enforcement, and now they're dealing with that. Somebody from the military, but this person is a very hard, like, they love deep. Like, this person is a big, strong protector. I mean, it, it's just an energy, a masculine energy, so it could be a male or female. But this person will go to hell and high water for their people. They don't play. Then we have the lovers. The lovers is about relationship choices, connections, networking. The lovers represents the close relationship of your life, like romantic situations, hard choices. The lovers come up when you're like at a crossroads. Um, you must consider all the possibilities of your consequences or thinking about your choices. It's like your heart and soul desires. It's also like new beginnings. So somebody right now may be communicating with somebody back and forth online this is like husband and wife situation you know you guys are trying to maybe come into your spiritual self um or just bond with somebody but this also says like networking so this could be a situation where a lot of you guys were telling or saying that you want to build something so like networking with other people who are doing the same things or who are trying to like um work in the same field this is also like a karmic relationship that has just now started to ha happen or develop and now you know all of these things have happened to you 
just like that things have changed and now your karmic relationship is here and everything is going well so it's like you're feeling very blessed right now and you're feeling very happy you're feeling very but if you're single it's like you could be networking with people but also maybe even trying to date somebody or you know what i mean just starting to love yourself because that's a another connection that you can make some of these things are very easy to you know but also the lovers is like this and this is going to go to because you know pisces if you're here if you're this is your first time to my channel this is not your normal tarot channel they get tarot and stories here because i want my pisces to win i want to build a vibration i want to help with you know restore our light the things there are teachers there's guides there's people that need to come together to kind of you know, help increase and get us away from these, this type of vibration, the things that went on this year. People don't need to be broken and, and broken and dwelling into that. We're going to go into 2020 with a very different, positive, upbeat. We already know karmic gifts falling out the sky. You see them there. People are commenting. This is no joke. I can't make this shit up. I already told y'all. You see the people there. You see them commenting. You see all the things going on. So with the lover's card, I came up with this thing and it just popped in my head it's like about the puppet master you know what the puppet master does they pull your strings the puppet master like who's guiding you and what i was thinking about this was the, the puppet master should be a good person if your per puppet master is not a good person you need to kind of think about what's happening but the, the puppet master has to exist the puppet master has to be somebody so which one is your puppet master is your puppet master a good puppet master? Is your puppet master a bad puppet master? Because a good puppet master should not want anything other than just the, the greater good for the world. Like they want things to be better. They want to they wanna increase the vibration. They want to bring things into fruition and build us as a better generation of people or establish a better generation coming up under you. Or just, you know, try to build positive vibes just throughout the world so that way it like people can absorb these things these karmic gifts that are coming in for them but on the other hand the bad puppet master the bad puppet master wants power so they're creating things but they're creating things to craft and create for themselves so they can gain power not really for you so and a lot of families, we were talking about it because this is like when I was talking about with my husband, it's when things pop in my brain, I'm like, it seems so weird. But then, you know, okay, so most of the time it's the grandmothers in the family, like and most, and I don't want to make this about, but most of the time it's the grandmothers. And this is a lot across the board because I have a lot of different friends and everything. And I've noticed that the grandmothers the ancestors they're the ones that keep the family together and most of the time when the older people grow die off then the young people they don't get together and then it's like so the thing is when you say the word puppet master it brings it to something like it seems like it should be secretive or it seems like it's something bad and in most cases every day your puppet master changes because depending upon your circumstances, depending upon who you are, depending upon where you are in that life, guess what? The thing you wouldn't do yesterday, you'll do today because your circumstances have changed. And the thing you won't do tomorrow, then you'll do the day after that because your circumstances have changed. So it's like, who is your puppet master? So this is the thing that people need to think about. Who close to you pulls your strings? Pisces. Who close to you pulls your strings? Who close to you makes you a better person? Or who close to you makes you a not so better person? Who, okay, so with all the things that were coming up, 
I'm going to give you some examples of some puppet masters because I know a lot of you guys are limited thinking. And some of you probably already left. And if you have, then you shouldn't be here anyway because this is not a lesson for you because this is what we do on this channel. We give lessons so that way it fits into your life and you get to see how this shit really works because I don't make this shit up. This is just how it goes. Um, so in most places or most cases, the puppet master could be your grandmother, your family, somebody in your family. One of your friends, the government, the government is definitely puppet mastering everybody because you need a cell phone. You need these things in order to stay connected. So guess what? If you don't have them, then, you know, so that's one big one. Um, but teachers, because teachers help you, you know, grow. Um, guides, light workers, pastors, ministers, all these people, um, your husband, your wife, but how are they puppet mastering you? Are you the good puppet master or the bad puppet master? Like, which one do you have? Are they teaching you or leading you down? Are they going to coexist with you in the right way? Or are they going to teach you to do... Because I've seen so many grand things. All of these people, like when you win the lottery, when all of you people have won the lottery, and these things are falling out of the sky and these things are happening for you. And some of you guys are so limited in your thinking, like... Everybody can't win the lottery. You didn't listen because guess what? Everybody has won the lottery. The lottery is so many different things. The lottery is vacations. It's it's just anything that you can imagine is a lottery. If you just can manifest it and dream it, and I'm not a person that's over here just sitting here with my hands here showing you, I mean, not showing you anything. I can show you some things that I have manifested um, and I probably will, and I have showed some people some things, so if you're new to my channel, because what I do is I show them and then I take them down, because I don't need, I, I'm not that person, but I like to show people the things that have been manifested, I'm not just telling you these things, I can show you things that have been manifest, manifested physically, and are you being a good teacher? a good teacher or bad teacher are you because they're like i said everybody was saying such great things they want to um open up things for kids they want to take care of their families they want to do this everybody has such grand things and you could do these things even if right now you have not won your lottery donate on a small level like donate to someone or something on a small level just pick a charity or something and donate the same charity that you said you would build donate to it even if it's a dollar 50 cents something just donate to it start the energy start the money flowing start getting the things and receiving your blessings you got to put it out there you got to start doing you can't live in lack or live in poverty and try to hold these things and hoard them like Oh my God, I forgot. I wanted to bring you guys this thing. I found, my son brought me my jacket. And I do these things. I'm just so weird. I keep telling you, I'm so, I'm always manifesting. So there's a jacket that I had in my closet and I don't wear this jacket. I haven't worn this jacket since I moved to Georgia, probably in 2012, okay? That jacket has not, because it's like, I'm, it's an up north thing. So, I have not worn that jacket since I moved to Georgia because it does not require this jacket. And so my son breaks this jacket out because for some reason, the past couple, past couple days, it's been kind of cold. So I'm like standing in the garage. I'm telling my son, I need a jacket. So he brings me this huge ass coat. And I'm like, why would you bring me this? But anyway, so I, he, I put it on. And the first thing I do is stick my hands in my pocket. And... I'm telling you guys this right now because this is like the funniest, weirdest thing. I stick my hands in this pocket and I pull out this piece of paper. Now, it's just a white piece of paper folded just like this. This is exactly how I folded this paper. And then I stuck, but what I stuck on the inside of it was, and I'm going to go get this paper because I think I left it downstairs in the garage where I found it at. Um... In this paper was a quarter and I had wrote $10,000 on this paper and I don't know why for the me that why for the life of me I wrote $10,000 on this piece of paper because 
my life has been very good. So for some reason, I wanted this $10,000. It might have been for a purchase of something or whatever. But I don't know why I wanted this $10,000. So what I did was fold it up like this. I wrote the $10,000 on it. I put a quarter in it. And then I folded it like this. And then I took a candle. Like this. Blew it out. Took the wax. Dumped it on the paper like this. Stuck my finger in it like that. Okay, so this paper dried. No, oh, this one. Okay, so this paper dried just like this. And then apparently I stuck it in this coat pocket. So now the other day I'm taking out the the damn paper, like I said, and this is simple, but when it dries, it dries in like a plot of wax and I slid it in there. And so my husband is standing there when I pull this out and he's like, what are you doing? I said, well, this just came out of the pocket. I'm, oh God, my hands, why is everything rolling down? Okay. So he's like, what are you doing? So I show him the paper because I'm like, and I wish I just, I knew what it was, but I didn't. So I cracked the wax and then I open it. The quarter falls out and it has this 10,000 on it. And now today, my first video breaks 10,000. But it was something like as if it was already meant to or was going to happen. So to me, that's like, in my mind, I hit the lottery even on that. That's not nothing to anybody, but it was something to me. Because this is th something that I work on. This channel I work on. So... I didn't know what I wanted this channel to be from the beginning, but now it's like taking off and it's doing, you know, its own little thing. And I'm very thankful. But you guys need to learn like what to say to yourself, like, you know, how to speak to yourself. The things you should, you know, because you got to watch your mouth. You got to watch your mouth. Oh, somebody asked me what Bible I have. And I have... The Life Application Study Bible, King James Version. Version. Um, manifest your life. Okay, let me get back to your reading because I know this thing is probably getting long again. Um, I did the King of Swords. I did the Lovers. Knight of Cups. Mm, Knight of Cups is on a quest. A quest of the heart for romance. True love or service to a higher power dramatic adventure following your heart being more flirtatious when it comes to love so it seems like somebody is involved with somebody wants to date somebody somebody wants to say hey you know be a little bit more flirtatious if you're already married this might mean you and your husband or wife need to spend more time together um be a little flirtatious maybe you guys have been a little bit busy at work or, you know, you've been passing each other by, but it seems like you need to be a little more flirtatious and try to, you know, put that thing back together. Um, I'm also feeling like single somebody has been a little like not wanting to get involved, but you have somebody that's trying to catch your eye and it seems like you're acting like you don't see them, but that's real. They really want to come to you. They really want to talk to you. Um, so maybe you should try that. So this person is doing a lot. So we have the hermit. The hermit is withdrawing, loneliness, being left to your own devices. The hermit yearns to be alone. They know what they need to do. They want to process what's happening and they want to withdraw from everybody. It's too much noise going on. They want to be in their own space. They're trying to create their own, you know, private solitude. Right now, it's like you need to kind of listen to your intuition and think about what's happening. Think about what's going on. So, so but it seems like people are trying to draw you out because then on top of that, you have the three of cups. So maybe there's like weddings and celebrations and stuff. 
going on but maybe over here okay so the hermit going into the stuff maybe it's like i can't afford this i can't afford to go to all these things but everybody's over here having fun nobody asked you for anything other than for you to come they just want to be around you they just want to see you and they're probably telling you that but you're like mm, no because i'm used to like doing this but you're living again in that lack mindset you got to go you got to get out you got to get used to you got to start being back in the circle so that way everything starts to flow you got to start to be balanced pisces Okay, then we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is adventurous. They're a risk taker. They're very focused on new opportunities. But they're not good with the follow through. This is what I keep telling you, Pisces, about writing your list. So that way you can get everything knocked off your list. Start doing everything in a process. If you start doing too much, because Pisces, you're always all over the place. You're doing stuff. You're trying to handle this. You're trying to handle that. And it's a lot going on. You're getting things done, but some of them you're not following through on so it's like too much stuff and you need to remember how to follow through but continue to take risk and and continue to you know develop your opportunities continue to grow okay that was the knight of wands then we have the page of cups so the page of cups is on a new journey involving their emotions they're not afraid of being vulnerable and they're dealing with the intense feelings um there this person is very innocent almost to the point where people think you're naive they think you're a little like you're not paying attention but you're on it you're paying attention um you may need to open up right now it says to others and let them see the real you because maybe since you've been withdrawing you're not allowing people in you're not wanting to deal with anybody you're not here for the bullshit and you don't got time you've been through too much this year and you're not with nobody else's mess and you don't have time and then as you know, the fool is about new beginnings. They're off on a new journey. They're just going where they want to go. So it's like you're trying to come out of this mode, Pisces, but it's like you're just trying to figure your way through. You got to come out, though. You got to get up. You got to get out. You got to attempt to try to, you know, motivate back into the world and get everything together. So back to your puppet master. Who is your puppet master, Pisces? Who is the person that you go to? Who is the person that you talk to? Who is the person that is helping you do all these wonderful things when you gain all these financial, this financial windfall? Okay, your cards are flying out. Okay. Nine of Cups clarifying the Five of Cups. Spirit clarify the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so as you know, the Nine of Cups is the wish card, Pisces. I keep trying to tell you guys. I keep saying it. I can't make this shit up. You over there sad, lonely, and not realizing that you're fucking up. Oh, that you're messing up your blessings, Pisces. You got to get it together. You got to come on, come on with the come on because the wish card allows you to gain anything and everything that your little heart desires. Like karmic gifts, like I said, falling out the sky, just like that. And you're acting like, how do I, um, well, I don't know. Um, 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 listen, mama, you either want it or you don't claim it and it's yours. It's done. Put that energy out there. Positive vibes. Continue to teach. Continue to grow. Um, so, puppet masters. So, I'm over here. I'm like, in the area where there's like healers. Who are the heal healers? Okay. Two of swords. Yeah. A, a, of course, you would get a two of swords. A two of swords facing tough decisions on how can you get your emotions under control how do why do i feel so stuck why is my why am i here why am i just feeling like i don't know which way to go why am i incapable of seeing the truth why am i incapable of why because you're saying why am i incapable you're very very capable watch how you talk to yourself remember that right now you're trying to push through so watch your language watch what you're saying watch what you, how you talk to other people watch how you talk to yourself so right now if you're saying i can't guess what you're making up you can't you really surely cannot 
So you can, you can do anything and everything you want to do as long as you watch your energy. Watch how you talk to yourself. Watch your mouth. Watch the things that come out of it. It's as plain and simple as that. So you're living in lack because you're speaking in lack. Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. So healers, who are the healers? The same people, because healers are like people that make you laugh. Like you guys, I know when you said healers, like there are physical doctors as in healers too. But I'm talking about the people who are, laughter is healing. And like herbalists and people who are like, they like holistic medicine. So these things are healing. So these are the people that are like the healers. Cooks, because food is like delicious. I mean, come on now. Um, there's comfort food. So it's like, for some reason, there was another discussion that we had. Spirit clarify the King of Swords about like how people point fingers. Like, um, it's like misdirection. That's what it is. So I'm gonna point my finger over there at that person, so you guys can not see what uh, what I'm over here doing. It, that's what it almost seems like is being done. So it's like so much that goes on behind the scenes, like I said, and you guys need to be more very, very clear about you deciding that you want to be a teacher or you want to be so awake and you want to be these things because it's important that you make sure that you're being responsible with what you're teaching these people, okay? So three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is about teamwork, collaborating with others to achieve big results. Taking pleasure in, and admiring your hard work. Like, you see how they step back and they're looking like, oh my God, I did that. Like, I worked hard. This is what I did. And this is how I want it to be done. And all that. So it's like, with the King of Swords, putting all these things together. Like, communicating with others about building and just being able to, you know, think your way through situations. Whenever you get into, like, you know, because teamwork brings different ideas, different people talking and other shit so it's like you want to be able to communicate properly with these people so that way you can build something better you don't want to be arguing and in conflict and then your business is tore down or then your adventure is toward that like you don't want to do that so you want to be able to communicate very clearly anything and everything that you want and be able to understand completely what you're doing on the other note the person that I was saying was like military judges and this, then a third. And it's almost like to me, somebody's locked up and they're in a boys camp, a military school. Somebody went into the military, but somewhere you're away at a camp and it's like you're having to work with others. So that's the structure. So I don't know what that's about, but spirit clarify the lovers. So this is the thing, Pisces. The whole little puppet master thing needs to it came into play because it's like, who are you hanging around? All these good things that you guys are doing with this money that you're winning from the lottery, all these good things that you're doing, like for the kids and for your family and all this other stuff. Are you being very careful of who you're building with? Like the people that you're trying to build with. Um, are you being very careful about who you're allowing to influence you because now is a very important time now is a very imp important time because like i told you you have all these karmic gifts just happening falling out of the sky these things are happening but who is puppet mastering you who is with you is the person with you destined to be with you is the person that that you're with um a person that you just want because they're here and you feel comfortable with them like right now is the time to be very very careful pisces because there's so much good stuff and these things can change like i told you before and if you're new to my channel i tell everybody this please go back and look at the other videos because there's lessons this is not your average tarot channel i give lessons here we talk about stuff um we communicate this is a safe place for pisces we are like this is the little pisces family pisces gang we don't do the whole little mess over here um oh yeah that reminds me i started this and then i was debating um father in heaven the universe and above i come to you with this petition with light and love 
Pisces has cross watchers with nothing to do. We bless them. They curse us. Same old thing. Nothing new. The energy they send is negative and of low vibration. Enough energy to kill the earth and future generations. It's enough to be them, Lord. They see themselves in the mirror image of the reflection, how they treat everyone else. Positive vibes and blessings, many karmic life lessons. Change your ways and stop stressing or a spell you'll be requesting. That was for you, you know. Um, <laughs> the Magician. You will be having me fucked up. You guys already know what the magician is. It's like what I tell you all the time. Crafting and creating your life. This is what we're doing right now, Pisces. We're manifesting. We're doing things. We're developing things. And like I said, I'm manifesting right now. Um, I had posted, you know, where my backyard is. My backyard is really fucking huge. Um, but I posted that I am I'm manifesting right now, bringing into 2020 a meet and greet. For some people and so this is like manifesting your world manifesting your love life manifesting your dream job speaking good things to yourself making sure that you're talking to yourself in the right tone making sure that you're commanding your situation your thing making sure that if you're asking for stuff you're moving into alignment with those things trying to get in balance with yourself trying to bring things you know the right way around the right way to you know how you want them to be like you're crafting this life Pisces. you're creating this everybody deals with the same issues love money family relationships same things different levels i keep telling you go back look at them there's lessons lots of lessons when you see them is when you're meant to see them. And some of you need to see them. Um, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is committed to the truth. They're focused, they're driven, they're ambitious, they're action-oriented. They're on a mission. They're on a mission to succeed. They're fast-thinking, they're assertive, and they like getting what they want. This is the magician, and if you're a good magician... I consider and I try to comment. If I'm not subscri subscribed to your channel, please let me know and I will su come subscribe to your channel. This is what we do here. Um, oh, I got to get the list. I forgot the list of the people who um, I watch. Okay, so I'm a, I got to figure it out. I'll do it though because you, you guys need that. Um, the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is about speed, moving quickly, swift movement, things that are meant to be, opportunities opening up and using these energies to achieve your goals. Like this is the swift movement. This is the thing. Like I told you, this thing just comes in just like that. It just happens. And you got to adjust with the changes. So it's like, Pisces, are you ready? This is why I'm telling you, your puppet master, who's around you, Pisces, who is around you that will help you either become a good Pisces, good, bad, good moving forward, build in mind, or who's over here that will hinder you, that will pull you back. They're pulling your strings because like I told you guys in the last video, you're setting things into motion right now, right now you're claiming it. A lot of you guys are claiming it big time because I'm, listen, y'all, Thank you for my donations. You guys are awesome. Um, y'all, you guys are like making it happen. So who is there? Is the person, this person going to help you build, going to move it along, going to help you move this thing bigger and bigger and bigger financial wealth for generationals or generations, or is this person going to take you down again? Okay. So then here right now, I keep telling you guys, you have the four pentacles. Four of Pentacles is about a relationship with money. You got to remember the energy. You can't have the lack mindset. The energy. The energy is what's important. Um, people are just coming out of nowhere. And I want to say thank you guys, all my new subscribers. Please make sure that you're actually subscribed to my channel. And thank you for all the comments and all the likes and everything. You guys are so awesome. Like, I really can't believe it. I'm very, very thankful. Very thankful. Um... Pentacles, four pentacles, um, hoarding your possessions, long-term financial security, watching your expenses so you can accumulate wealth to live a comfortable lifestyle, not just now, but for in the future. So 
Right now you're worried about your financial security. You're building, you're doing all the things that you need to do. But somebody, it seems like they have moved away because they had to actually like try to start saving their money. So it's like this person is outside of the city, the city's back here. So now it's like trying to integrate, I guess, moving back into the city or thinking about maybe if you want to move back into the city or if you want to go to the country, where is the best way place for me to live at or what is the best thing for me to do? But Either way, you were outside. Over here, you're outside. Over here, you're outside. So either way, you're outside of whatever you are normally used to. But this is about your your energy. How are you with money? It's like I keep trying to tell you. Money is energy. So if you're hoarding, you can donate a dollar to your favorite charity. You can go don donate your time. You can go, you can do stuff that is still flowing, getting your situation together. So if you're trying to live in a situation where you're hoarding or you're creating a, I'm holding on tight, you're going to hold yourself back into something that you really don't want. So you got to remember your energy, your energy, your energy, your energy, your energy. Watch how you speak to yourself. Watch how you're manifesting. Like, listen my hands are itching things are happening money's just listen people get things together y'all have an abundance of stuff pisces and some of you guys the ones that are actually winning and doing all these things i love your comments because it's like letting these people know that they're limiting themselves like there's new cars showing up there is things happening for you guys receive them stop living in lack mindset remember your energy your energy your energy your energy pisces we are the generation of teachers leaders guides you are the people that are setting the trends change your attitude a attitude for gratitude the universe is yours the universe loves you pisces you know that so stop allowing these people who's your puppet master Who's your puppet master? Make sure that everybody around you is rowing and rooting for you. Don't have anybody around you that is not rooting for you. So I told you you won the lottery, right? And then you went and told your friend and your friend said, she don't know what she's talking about um, because everybody can't win the lottery. Yes, I do. You won't win, but you going to win, dear. Claim it. It's yours. It's mine. I won. It's my shit. I want it. And I want it now. That commercial, just like that. I want, it's my, it's my money and I want it now. Just like that, Pisces, okay? So, Pisces, this is your reading. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Come on, Pisces. We got this. Teachers, leaders, guys, light workers, all you people, everyone is important. We need a new energy in the world. They're sucking the energy out of the world. Don't let them win. Put it back. Put all the good energy back. Claim all your karmic gifts. It's here. It's yours. Claim it. If it doesn't resonate with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Come on, Pisces. We got this. Teachers, leaders, guys, light workers, all you people, everyone is important. We need a new energy in the world. They're sucking the energy out of the world. Don't let them win. Put it back. Put all the good energy back. Claim all your karmic gifts. It's here. It's yours. Claim it.